I'd like to go over a uh, project I've been working on here for the past uh, while. Uh, traffic lights, something we uh, almost see every day, but uh, wonder what uh, controls them and uh, how they all wire up. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, these are pretty well available on eBay uh, for pretty good price right now. Uh, you can buy the little small sequenters that will fit right in this unit itself, uh, or you can get just a little bit brave and purchase one of these actual controllers. Uh, this one here is by uh, Eagle Signals, uh, the uh, Epic 140 model, uh, which will do just about any any application that you might have. It's all programmable uh, through the keypad and the display. Uh, a couple of the uh, load switches. Here are here are four load switches. Uh, that is actually taking your low-level signal uh, from your controller unit here uh, through the low-level signaling cable, uh, which is actually going in through the cabling, going into your load switches, from your load switches uh, out to your actual traffic light, uh, which will give you your uh, walk signal. Uh, for your pedestrian signals and we'll see how that all switches. All of your uh, controls on this particular unit is running a timed function. Uh, most traffic lights have a controller input uh, which we are monitoring the vehicles approaching. Uh, this one here is just behaving, uh, including the pedestrian sign, uh, no push button on it for a walk signal. Uh, it's just all, all operating from the time signals coming from the controller. Uh, again, these units are fairly available uh, and fairly easy to program. Uh, I purchased this unit here for basically uh, around $20 on eBay. And uh, you can see it's uh, fairly easy, a little hard to see the display here. Uh, but we can actually uh, go in and look at uh, all of the activity, the timing, uh, sequences, uh, everything here that's making everything happen. And a little hard to see the display here, but. Uh, at a later time, uh, I will be making another video going over the actual uh, programming and a little bit of inside information on how you could set up the controller. Uh, this is just basically the components needed it would be your traffic light, load switches, and controller to get yourself started. There is a few other components uh, involved in the actual traffic light. Um, as, as with the controller and the load switches are always in the enclosure, uh, usually located near the traffic light itself. And uh, most of those electronics uh, are monitored as well. There is a monitor panel, which I do not have connected at the moment. I do have it, but do not have it wired. Uh, we'll be wiring that up. It will be uh, monitoring the actual sequence uh, of the lights and we'll be pick, picking it up off of the terminal strips here uh, that are actually going out to the lights and of course you monitor the conditions of the load switches um, for example you know we can't have two uh, greens at the same time or, or uh, two uh, walking indications at the same time would be generating a conflict as we'll notice uh, walking is about to expire on, on one of our intersections here uh, we're getting a yellow signal and all traffic is stopped and the intersection turns green on the opposite side and we also have a walk signal as well green for that intersection and again this one uh, 
if you would uh, be interested in purchasing uh, any of the equipment like on eBay uh, I would recommend the Eagle Signals uh, any of the series that Eagle Signals have is pretty nice units uh, basically programmable uh, you could write all kinds of uh, little routines for it control uh, all kinds of traffic signals, uh, pedestrian walk signals, uh, just a uh, very nice little display. Uh, intend to hang this one up here in the garage. Uh, still be looking for another traffic light and uh, I do have another uh, pedestrian signal uh, on the way from eBay. Uh, again, it's a uh, pretty nice little toy to have around just if you're uh, interested in the hobby. Uh, uh, pretty easy to follow. The, uh, most of the manuals are pretty easy. I chose the Eagle Signals because of that. Uh, appeared to be an uh, easy to find manual. Easy to follow wiring. Uh, load switches are usually available on eBay as well. Uh, I found my load switches actually new on eBay and uh, they were around four bucks a piece. So very cheap. Uh, solid state relays. Uh, in each load switch. Uh, again, you could make that panel up with relays, but uh, no need to really go through the hassle when uh, for like four bucks you can pick up the actual load switch. Uh, the biggest thing, like say, you have in it is uh, a lot of time and wiring, but uh, the project has been well worth it and uh, lots of excitement uh, from actually owning your own uh, working traffic light.